So it's 2023, and we are watching, witnessing, and some of us, I would say even at this point, the majority of us, are participating in the push to digital, right? So we're seeing this represented uh, in a variety of ways, right? We're seeing the Wii shops, the Wii U shops, the DS shops. PS3 was rumored to have been shutting down. The PS Vita and all of those handhelds are you know, probably not long for this world. So essentially what's going on here is we're taking everything that we used to know and we're kind of throwing it out and we're replacing it with this larger push to digital. And for those of you who have been keeping up and and anyone new, hit the subscribe button if you already have not and hit the like button. It's a huge help and it only helps to further kind of the messaging that we're pushing forward here, right? We're agenda free and I buy my own equipment and everything that I buy and, and enjoy comes out of my own pocket. So there's no uh, kind of participatory uh, regulations that we have to hold true to here on this side. So be that as it may, uh, we are squarely in the digital realm now. And we're seeing that a variety of ways, some of which I've already hinted at. And we're now seeing consoles that are purely digital, right? We're seeing the Xbox Series S. We're seeing the PS5 digital. And I would imagine this is only going to continue and even uh, become more rigid in its structure. So what did I want to cover today? Well, it's a topic that has been kind of one layer deeper than the majority of my videos that touched on these topics in the past. And by that, I mean the majority of my videos in the past have kind of hinted at and even sometimes explicitly stated this push to digital as a concern, but we really never dug into that. And I'm not going to go into the ones and zeros and the nitty gritty technical of what I believe to be occurring at this point. That's really something that uh, maybe we can get to in the future. But in the meantime, what we can do is we can say, all right, we see that this is the way things are going. We can see that digital sales are outpacing physical. We see that represented by the offering and the very successful offering at that of digital only consoles. And we see this and we have been seeing this for a long time in the PC world, right? So let's just quantify what we have now and then extrapolate forward and say, okay, if things really turn for the worst, in my opinion, and we go full digital, what safe havens do we still have left uh, available to us? And so, in short, I have an Xbox, an original Xbox modded with the Project Stellar mod. I have a very recent Sega Saturn Fenrir mod. I have two GameCubes, one with the GC loader and one with Pico Boot. And I also have... The PS Classic, completely modified. And I might be forgetting one, but I do have some RAM carts and other things. Or ROM carts, if you will. So, if we take these things and we say, all right, this is the only alternative. And I believe it is, right? So, what we're getting at here is the only alternative to really saying, no, I'm not participating. I am not paying for... Uh, oh, of course, the biggest one, <laughs> of course, the Wii. I have two modified Wiis, soft modded, one uh, one way and one the other way, and um, excellent. I, I did videos in, on this in the past. So if we take this and we run with it and we say, all right, we're in the digital realm now, what do we do? What offerings do we have? Well, the GameCube scene in particular, I would say is similar to the Xbox scene. They're exploding. The Xbox and the GameCube mod scene is exploding right now in in ways that nobody would have ever anticipated, right? We see advancements in other areas, and, and that is kind of all expected, really. But nobody would have thought that you could have a GameCube modified so many different ways with Blue Retro and... You know, these, these newer modifications, Pico Boot, the Kunai modification, uh, HDMI mods, SD to SB2, everything, right? Nobody would have guessed that. So if we take that in one hand and we say, all right, 
we have this amazing assortment of modification technology and methodologies in our in our back pocket, right? So what's the problem? We can always mod our systems, right? We can always do this. We can always preserve our backups, right? We could So what's the big deal? Well, unfortunately, there is a big deal. Nobody's talking about it. It might be because these topics, uh, you know, keywords kind of get um, you know, triggered and the visibility is reduced. But let's get at that today. So say you are, you know, one of the regular uh, modded console kind of guys or gals. And you have this wide assortment, right? You have your Xbox, you have your Wii, you have a modded GameCube. You have maybe uh, RGB mods here and there elsewhere, like the N64, SNES, Master System. And you have, basically, you have all your bases covered, right? You're saying to yourself, I I'm totally protected. I have nothing to worry about. I have my modded consoles. And to a, de to a degree, right? To a degree, yes, you are correct. You have all the things that you need. You have the aces up your sleeve to handle this push to digital and the inevitable uh, difficulty that's going to come in terms of having a physical collection, right? You have what you need. You have your, your, your owned copies backed up and preserved, right? So what's the big deal? Well, what happens one day, I guess for the rest of us, right? Maybe those just entering the hobby now, because of all these things that we're talking about today, people are becoming aware of, wow, you know, physical games. I don't see any in my local stores. What's going on? I have to buy everything online. And they don't like that. And they're new to this, right? There are a bunch of people that are new. What then is to become of these folks? And you could still be saying, well, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? I'll just mod my console. I'll get a ROM cart. You know, it, what's the big deal? I'll load up all my stuff on an SD card and plug it into my GC loader or my Pico boot or, you know, my Fenrir, right? So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is as the push to digital continues and some other channels I've seen have kind of hinted at this, but they still, they shy away. And I, I do, I do believe that they are legitimately and uh, tactically shying away from this topic and here's here's where my channel comes in right you're not going to hear this anywhere else when that push for digital reaches its climax and we're only in the beginning stages right now so you could be really uh kind of lulled to sleep thinking that well you know the di digital is already here and and this is all over with and you know of course we're going to buy games online and you know it, of course we would have so what's the big deal we're protected. We have ROMs. We have everything we need. We have my backups, you know, preserved. And, and so still, what's the big deal? The big deal is um, for those of us that are entering the hobby, all right, and th for those of us who are in the hobby and not, you know, we don't have all of our bases covered. We have titles that for one reason, one reason or another are kind of exposed to uh, flaws in the hardware, right? If we have a lot of physical discs, not so much cartridges, right? But physical discs, as I've hinted at predominantly in my uh, the Wii Turn 16 video and the Wii mod kind of overview, your discs are going to fail. I'm not going to get into that anymore, but just hear me out. One day, GameCube, Xbox, whatever, doesn't matter. The Sega CD is a case study in failed discs and old CDs. If you have family or acquaintances, or even if you yourself have some of the earlier CDs, I'm talking like, you know, mid 80s. If you have CDs pressed in the mid 80s, they've already begun to fail, right? And if you have a Sega CD collection, you could probably already speak to this. And maybe if you've bought one, right, thinking that it works fine, you know, complete in box, great condition disc. And it doesn't work. Discs will fail. And I'm not going to get into this anymore. We know that DVD drives fail. We know that CD, D, CD drives fail. Anything that has moving parts is going to fail, particularly this late in their lifespan. We're talking 20 plus years at this point. I just did a Sega Saturn mod. The thing came out in 1995. That, that disc drive was shot, right? Not to mention that it was loaded with debris and all kinds of other stuff. That that thing was shot. I've had Dreamcasts, right? I haven't modded the Dreamcast yet. We'll get to that in the future. 
again, CD drive, shot, totally done. Kaput on day one, and the the stopgap techniques that you could use to kind of keep it working, like turning up the potentiometer, asking more power of the laser itself, which is already on a, a limited timeline for its remaining life expectancy, you're just going to nuke it, right? You're just going to nuke it that much faster. You could turn those pots all you want. They're just going to blow it up so to speak. So again, round the circle again, what's the big deal? Well, as the push to digital reaches its climax, and we're not there yet, I just said this, but I'll say it again, we're not at the climax of digital yet. When we do kind of crescendo, and we reach the climax of digital, we're talking all major systems, Sony, Microsoft, Xbox, you know, uh, PlayStation, uh, all the handhelds, the Switch, and whatever derivations of the switch come in the future or any other new entries, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what company it is. They already know. They already know that a lot of us are preserving our consoles and their libraries, respectively, via modification. They already know this. And as the push to digital reaches its maturity, and for other reasons, I'll just, you know, I'll drop some hints maybe here in the, in the description. Uh, very ominous, but very prescient and accurate uh, depiction of what I believe is probably coming happened at the tail end of Metal Gear Solid 2, where Snake has an interaction with what he believes to be is a human. It's actually an AI entity. It's always been an AI entity. And he kind of briefs him on like, hey, Snake. Just so you know, you know, uh, pretty soon you're going to need permission to get on the Internet just to begin with. And, you know, all this other stuff. And I'm not going to get into it. If you're even moderately following me here, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? You already know what I'm about to say. I'm going to stray away from that a little bit uh, for the sake of saving, you know, whatever slim chances of uh, I, I have here of reaching a meaningful audience. But along those lines, one day we will need to verify ourselves to get online. One day we will need to kind of prove who we are because of the prevalence of AI, right? That's going to be the reason. Because of the prevalence of AI, we don't know if you are really you. So provide A, B, C, and D identification just to get online. And those days are very, very near, right? We will be in that domain soon. And when it happens, you can kiss all of this game preservation, all these ROM carts, all of this modification, drag and drop, uh, basically huge benefits to, to this avenue in the retro gaming scene. We could kiss them goodbye forever. And uh, again, I'm not going to harp on why I think this is or what the evidence is. Um, I'll lead you to kind of read between the lines and give you some hints in the description here. But in long story short, maybe I'll just drop a, a pin here and you could just skip right to this. The day is coming where you will not be able to log on to the internet, Google search a ROM or a, a mod or whatever, right? And just start pulling down files and placing them onto your SD card or ROM card or what have you, right? The days of being able to do that anonymously and safely and securely and without any kind of traceability are coming to a complete and abrupt halt very soon. And the more that the push for digital becomes commonplace and discussed and is a topic for the majority of us to contend with, right? Everybody that I know in the scene right now, friends, family, acquaintances, what have you, even, you know, some tangential YouTubers here and there, they're all tracking that, oh, hey, all of a sudden, I'm not seeing as many physical games in the store. What's happening? Well, see, we know what's happening, right? We know what the end game is. For those of us that are reading between the lines for the over the last couple of years, we know what the, what the end game is here. It's complete and total traceability. And ultimately, well, what's going to happen is, for those of us who have not yet done so, your ability to kind of preserve your collection for whatever reason is going to be curtailed almost indefinitely. 
and very, very, very soon and, and totally, completely curtailed. And I do not believe that in the next couple of years that you will be able to go online and do all of these things. There's a plethora, I would say hundreds, if not thousands, of maybe even tens of thousands of some of the accounts that you know don't have visibility touch on how to mod your console how to mod your gamecube the latest mod from this person the latest mod from that person the best rom cart the best ode right optical uh, optical disk drive emulator uh, uh, hard drive mods solid state hard drive mods fan mods all this stuff which all culminates in you being able to preserve your collection or pull down roms at your own discretion right that all depends upon that being available and it's coming to an end i can't stress this enough that day is coming and you can kind of chalk this off as maybe a wild you know fringe idea but the evidence is there that it's coming and it's coming soon and maybe some of you would say well we're already there we, we, we already have uh, nintendo cracking down on other youtubers that's not what i'm getting at nintendo necessarily won't even have to crack down is what i'm getting at you could say well the youtubers who are leaking breath of the wild and you know, they're talking about different game mods and techniques, and they're already being cracked down. So what's the big deal? Who, why do you care? This is already broadly covered, and, and this is a non-issue. Well, no. Right now, it's up to Nintendo to crack down. They have to go fishing through the files on YouTube and select the ones, maybe even watch them, and then determine whether or not they're going to throttle them or ban them. They won't even have to do that soon. Your internet service provider, way ahead of all of this stuff, is going to determine what can happen on the internet. And I bet you, you know, my measly 401k that this is going to be regulated and it will be law and there will be no alternative. So it's coming soon. If I, you know, could have any recommendation to anybody out there that even has any kind of um, tangible grasp of what I'm getting at here, because I'm kind of all over the place. If you're following me to this point, go out there. If there's anything that you want to do, you wanted to do for years, go do it. Go do it now. I'm telling you, you your time window is closing rapidly. And that's pretty much all I could say about this topic. You can kind of chalk this up as a crazy fringe idea. But the evidence is there. Go look for it. You'll see it. You'll see it in spades. And you will see all the hints, the signs, the signals, and... Every supplemental piece of information that you would need to kind of say, wow, I think he might be right. Just open your eyes. It's all there. Anyway, until next time, this is Retro Renovo. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please hit the subscribe and like button if you like the content. You know, say so. If you don't like it, you know, say so. And we'll have a meaningful engagement in the comment section. That is a mean driving force. And... Um, desire that I have for this channel is to actually have some really good engagement in the comment section so we could exchange ideas. I've learned a lot from a lot of folks so far, and maybe hopefully I've helped them learn new things as well. So again, until next time, thanks for watching.